When primary amines react with carbonyl compounds, we form amines. When secondary amines react with carbonyl compounds, we form anamines. On the other hand, if tertiary amines react with carbonyl compounds, none of these products are formed. The question is why? To answer this question, let's examine the reaction mechanism between a tertiary amine and a carbonyl. So let's suppose we choose the ketone to be our carbonyl. So the ketone basically has a double bond between the oxygen and our carbon and the carbon is attached to two methyl groups. Now in the first acid catalyzed step we have the following acid which is basically the conjugate acid to our tertiary amine. So we have three R groups attached to our nitrogen and we also have the H and basically this molecule acts as our acid it contains the positive charge. And so when this approaches this ketone this carbonyl this lone pair of electrons on the oxygen basically acts as the Lewis uh, base this acts as the Lewis acid and so we displace these two electrons onto our nitrogen and this oxygen grabs this H atom so we protonate this oxygen of this double bond here and we form a resonance stabilized intermediate as well well as a tertiary amine as we'll see in just a moment. So we have our uh, oxygen H bond between these two atoms, we have the lone pair of electrons, and we have a double bond between the oxygen and our carbon. So on this resonance stabilized molecule we have a positive charge on this oxygen. Now notice if this pi bond goes on to this oxygen then the positive charge is delocalized onto this carbon to form the second resonance stabilized structure. So we have the oxygen now containing two lone pair of electrons and two bonds. So this has no charge but our carbon now develops a full positive charge. So we have the delocalization of our charge between these two different atoms. We also of course form our tertiary amine. So the tertiary amine is basically an amine that does not contain any H atoms. It only contains these hydrocarbon groups as well as the lone pair of electrons. So this is basically step one. Now what about step two? So step two basically takes place, let's label this as step two. Step two takes place when these two electrons act as the nucleophile attacking this carbon, basically forming a bond between this nitrogen and this carbon. So we form the following intermediate that contains a positive charge on this nitrogen. So let's draw this intermediate. So we have our H, we have our oxygen which has two pairs of electrons, we have the bond between carbon and oxygen and now we form, we have two groups here and now we form this bond between carbon and nitrogen and this nitrogen also contains two R groups. Now we have a positive charge on this carbon here and this is our intermediate that is formed in step two. Now by the way these reactions are reversible so we can also go in reverse. Now what could be the next potential step? For the primary or the secondary amine, we had an H group attached to our nitrogen. And so as long as we had the H group, we could deprotonate this nitrogen by removing that H group, forming a more stable intermediate. But in this case, the nitrogen does not have a spare hydrogen because we are dealing with a tertiary amine. And so because we do not have any H atom, on either side of this nitrogen, we cannot actually undergo the first deprotonation step as we can in the formation of the amine 
and the N-amine. And so that means because we cannot go in the deprotonation step, the only other step that we have is to go in reverse. And so what happens is we go back to this intermediate and eventually we reform these reactants. So we see that the reason we do not form the amine or the anamine with the tertiary amines is because this amine, so this is our tertiary amine, this tertiary amine does not actually have a spare H atom that is attached to our nitrogen. And because of that fact, we cannot take off uh, any H atoms to undergo the deprotonation step as we do in the imine and the anamine formation. So this is why if we instead of using our primary, secondary, use a tertiary amine, no product is actually formed. A reaction does take place. So we do in fact form this relatively unstable intermediate, but because there is no other reaction pathway that can uh, take place, we will go backwards and form this reactant. So although a reaction does take place, we do not form the amine or the anamine using tertiary amines. <laughs>